you said, why when men mm -hmm. give so, women give, the tell blueprint women exact, to love the them, blueprint, how to love them, how to love them, women is always like, but, 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 yes, right? Exactly. And I said, my answer at the time was based off a of video. So I'm going to give you two answers. I'm going to give you the, I'm going to go into the answer that we were talking about through this video. Mm -hmm. But I'm also apply what I'm saying to the reasoning because you're asking me why. Here you come asked, the goalposts being no, moved. No, you did you not ask me why is it? Yeah. So why am I moving the right, goalposts? Right, let's say less, say less. Let's play. Right? This. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. The guy that has not had a dime to my name and a guy that's had a couple dollars to my name okay. for the same life. Okay. Don't know with real paper, won't know needy. That's looking for something every time. Yeah, go get it. I don't want no nickel and dime ass. I don't Ooh. want no chick that's just constantly picking and picking and trying to just bottom feed around me. You feel what I'm saying? That kind of repulses me. It's like a nuisance. It's like roaches and flies. Like it's another you, bill. You, you and that. It's another bill. Ladies, that. free game. Find a way to inspire the man. Find a way to become his peace. Find a way what pleases him to become his pleasure. And you will never have to ask him for money. He will, he, hold on, excuse me. It's my, it's my monologue. Thanks. You will never have to ask him for money. He will give it to you okay. willingly yeah, yeah, ugly because you are going to access a version of him that is geared to give. Yeah, 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 Do y'all understand that there is not a man out here that works 20 hours and 16 hours a day and 20, 40 hours a week. He, we, we make our money to go back home and provide for y'all. Mm. If I get it back, I want a beautiful ass wife, some spoiled ass kids, two dogs and a picket fence. Mm. So my whole being and the reason why I work hard to get this money on is to give it to you. But if I know the only reason you're over this mother is you looking for a come up. Come on now. It's going to be a cold day in hell, ho. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. <laughs> Alex, why is your face like that? That escalated quickly, you know. I feel like it escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah. That's how you feel uh, first listening? Yeah. Okay. Just... Okay, so let me answer, right? So when Jay originally asked me the question, yeah, because if we give you the blueprint, like such that guy said, why is it always a but? My first answer was, well, if you're giving it to me like that, what do you expect me to say? Mm. It was a whole bunch of bitches and the verbiage of which the blueprint is presented isn't ideally something I probably would want to even hear. Mm. It's, it's not even, I can't even hear you now because your cadence is not like it's it's not friendly i don't even i don't even i don't even want to i don't I, I don't know i don't even want to talk to you anymore honestly mm -hmm. but i feel like that happens often though too like i feel like when you say men give the blueprint i don't feel like it's axed in a baby i love you and i want this to work here are some things that could work for me and i'm not saying you got to be perfect with it but can, these are things that I like. And, and, you know, I'm not saying I expect it out of you, but for us to work, these are things I know that is necessary for me to be able to feel and be the man I want to be even to you. That's not, y'all are not coming to us like that. That's mm. not happening often. And I'm not going to say never, and I'm not going to say no guy, and I'm not going to say you. I'm just saying that doesn't happen often. It's a lot of the times... <laughs> Like said, guy here, like you want whatever, and then y'all nagging and did it up. And my second part of what I was telling you is, I feel like, for example, if I come to you with a problem that I'm having, not you, but like generalize in general, when women are coming, a lot of times, I only can speak from my my mm -hmm. personal experience, so I, I don't want to say women. Because I'm trying to get out of that habit of doing it in that way and generalizing everyone. But for me, a lot of times I feel like when I bring uh, problems that I'm just having, like I'm experiencing, it's instantly called a complaint. Mm -hmm. You're nagging. You're complaining. But not my concerns. You get what I'm trying to say? So now you mean to tell me that every time I have a concern, I'm a complaining as bottom feet and That's crazy to me. And that's what he's saying, you know? And I feel like that's why I said I feel like approach is everything. How you say it is everything. And like I said to you, I was like, I hope he's the perfect at home then. Because outside of bringing money home, there's a lot of other nuances that go into a relationship. And you don't sound like the nicest person. Mm. So I don't care how much money you, you have if your attitude is shit, You know what I'm trying to say? Or are you talking to me like that? It doesn't matter what you bring at home. 
So then when you saying things like your my girl complaining, well, if you talking like that all day and that's what I'm hearing, I probably am complaining. Not just giving like some insight. But overall, outside of just his verbiage, I feel like because the blueprint isn't coming with a certain conversation or communication. And I was just talking to my friend and we were just talking about some situation she was dealing with. And, you know, and I was just telling her, I feel like sometimes we communication is just the biggest battle for both parties because some it these for example even if the nagging is wrong and girls are nagging right his woman's nagging i'm nagging or whatever and y'all don't want to hear that and nagging is annoying and nagging and complaining is what you would call grumble in the bible which is technically against god to be honest Mm -hmm. right grumble is something the more you grumble the more you complain the more it takes over your spirit and the more it shows that you lack faith because you are not accepting to your situation and and giving thanks to where you are, right? So that's annoying for anybody, even God. It's probably repeated over 20 times in the Bible. Grumble, don't grumble. God said, don't grumble. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Over and over and over again. You know what I'm trying to say? Because obviously it's not the right thing to do. So for a man, if it's annoying to God, it got to be annoying for a man. You know what I'm trying to say? But if when you are addressing somebody to tell them about something that's bothering you, if you are saying it, and you've taught me this even about myself, if you are saying it in a way that is undesirable, it leaves a door open to now I'm speaking on the undesirableness of it. I didn't miss your message. You get what I'm trying to say? And it's not necessarily right but as humans it's on both sides i feel like i've dealt with it with you you've dealt with it with me you come with a problem i don't like your tone it's like why you got to talk to me like that but you're like bro listen to what i'm saying to you i don't like that you did that vice versa i've done it to you you i I tell you you don't like my tone it's like how you expect me i think you said you it was a lesson that your mom said in it but how do you how do i expect to hear you you know i'm trying to say if i'm so focused you know, if my tone is bad, you know what I'm saying? So it's all in the approach and the communication. And I just feel like for myself, I can say, and I, I feel like other women can relate to this. The blueprint is not laid out nicely all the time. It comes with a lot of other different back end verbiages, i.e. what he said, or just like more like a you need to or I expect this or, you know. So I do feel like if it was grow that a little prettier then it would just take away from the reaction point to the disturbance of the you know how it's presented that's mm-hmm. all but i do think it's okay that you guys have a blueprint i do want to say one thing though too why do guys get a blueprint but then when women give a blueprint it's like y'all want too much y'all want six foot guy with money and da 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 because if that's a girl's blueprint, I feel like a lot of women blueprint gets like slatter. Like you want too much. Huh? Who want, you know, I'm just saying. Mm. What? <laughs> mm. I don't know. I think. Um... Did I answer your question? First of all. Mm-hmm. Um. Some coffee? <laughs> nah, I think I'm trying to say I don't know how to say this. I'm gonna just say it. So hopefully y'all can just blame it on my my mind and not my heart. I mean, well, okay. But when I like hearing you speak on those things, it's like, and I joked about it at first, but it's like the when it comes to women and their mm-hmm. desires and their needs, I feel like you guys always move the goalposts, like forever. And I say that because. I think I was talking to Adam when we were talking about um, this topic or whatever. And I feel like, and I think I said this to you, I feel like as a man, I feel like I always have to, like, what's the word? Not confine, but um, I feel like as a man, I always have to subdue to your feelings. Because if I don't, I won't be heard. 
Mm-hmm. I always have to be gentle. I always have to say things nicely. I always have to preference my 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 statements in a way to protect myself or for you to know that I don't mean any harm, right? So when you say it's the the approach or how it's being said, that makes sense and that's super logical, right? But it seems like a contradiction because in order for a man to speak, sometimes I feel like this in our relationship, in order for me to speak to you, I have to come calm anyway. So mm-hmm. if I, like, in order for me to get through to you, because you already made it made it known that I won't be able to get through, through to you on the other end, right? And honestly, I want to be heard as well. So in order for me to get through to you, I have to come in a way that's respectful, right? But even still then, I, sometimes I feel not heard. Right, so it's like that's why I said I feel like, and it, it at first it was a joke, but it's like it's something feel like sometimes the the goalposts can be moved because like you woman asks for these things, we give it to him, and it's still not enough, right? So it's like even like when you said in the Bible, God said, "Don't um, grumble, grumble," right? And this is a joke, but I'll say it for the for a clip, Nick. I got you. So even in the Bible, you said God said, "Don't grumble," right? Mm-hmm. And I just think about it. And if you think about since the beginning, God said, don't eat the apple. Right. Eve ate the apple. Mm-hmm. God said, don't grumble. I feel like men been comp- complaining about women complaining since the existence of the earth. Mm-hmm. Uh, God said, put the man first. Woman, don't put the man first. So it's like everything God mm-hmm. said in the Bible, woman don't do. So it's like, but even in that, right? It's like in that joking manner, but it's like, that's the the manner that we have to deal with our, our woman. Like, mm-hmm. so when you say, like, when you say, I feel like it's, a, I don't know if it's a natural thing, but I feel like I've said this to you, right? We're going to get to us. It's like, you think you're coming to me with a problem, like, or, or like uh, how you feel. And I'm like, yo, you're just complaining. Mm-hmm. Because for me, it makes it, when you come to me with these things or saying these things, it sounds as if like you want me to fix it, right? Or, or not, you want me to fix it. It sounds like something that I have to do with, right? Like I'm tired of like, I don't know, I don't know, sacrificing or doing this. And it's like, bro, like this is what we got to do now. But, or like when we first moved to Atlanta, right, you was frustrated because your clothes wasn't here, you didn't have any friends here, right? It was a lot. And I think I could have been a better, I think I could have been more um, empathetic for sure, right? But we have to take accountability on both sides. Like, bro, like, every time, like, when is it just, when are we just happy for what we have? When are we just happy for what's going on? When are we just happy for what we got? And it's like, it's like, it's a complaint and it's like, bro, it's so frustrating. And then... So like yeah, of course it's like I'm getting frustrated, right? And then like for example, like um, when things don't go right, it's not like women are are the nicest with their tone when they're upset. It's like they want to say things out of anger, but expect for men to understand and hear them. I think you said this on one of the episodes. She was like, just know the nature of your partner, and I was like, just looking back, I'm like, damn, that's crazy because like, so basically you are able to be able to be you, and I suppose accept that. But when I'm being me. It's not accepted. So I have to, it's like I kind of got to confine myself in a manner of the way I'm not and I've never been and I'm not used to, to just to get through to my woman for my woman not to get through to me. That's why I say I feel like sometimes the, the goalpost is being moved because everything you said makes sense. Like it makes perfect sense, but it don't work like that a lot of times. And I feel like it'd be, un, it be unfair. So like, yeah, like with him, that probably was a bad example for sure. He was, he was a little disrespectful for sure. Not even a little bit. He was disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Cool. But even when a man is speaking about his peace, it's like it's women find a way to dissect it in the way it shouldn't be. Right? And even like you said, <clears> why <throat> can't a woman, and I'm only saying it because you said like why a woman when she give her blueprint of what she want. But again, it's a bunch of uh, like, I don't want to say unrealistic. You have what you want. It's a bunch of stuff that's like, bro, men are asking for a couple things. Respect, right? Not to complain and and to be valued, like, we're, I, and I think every man across the the plat, like the wor- world, not every man, but we're asking for uh, simple things. Women want you to be six feet tall, have a big dick, have a have pay all the bills. But it's like you, it's like you go through these things, you pay all the bills, just still to get feel like you're being disrespected, and not and, and not and not uh um feel value. You know what I'm saying? So it's like women ask for so much, and men and I and I'm saying it because I was one of them. Men break their necks to to to. Men will a man will break his neck to give a woman what he want just to not get what he want in the end. Mm. And it should be like it's like a it's like it's just sometimes it can feel like um I don't want to say pointless, but sometimes it can feel like it's just is you're never gonna you never 
is is a, is a, is a like you yeah. running in a hamster wheel. Yeah. No, I hear you. I just, I think I don't know. Um, same friend that I just told you had a conversation with. It also went into. I feel like sometimes, and you know, we were amongst girls, so we're just speaking freely. So the same way, you know, I'm trying to say this as pleasant as possible, yeah. but I feel like sometimes Probably to should. me. Men come off like with this God complex. Mm. And what I mean by that is everything you just said, it's as if we don't experience it from you as well. For sure. 100%. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So it's like, okay, we ask to not complain. But when y'all careers aren't going well and y'all are at home upset and I'm trying to do this, get this money, this not working out, I need more money, I need... Well, we're not verbally saying you're complaining. Mm. But I know many of times, and it's an ongoing fact, or excuse me, not let me not say fact, a, a known thing that women, I don't know if men say this, but women say, and women vouch for me, when men money are funny, oh, they, they are not the most pleasant to be around. Mm. Right? So men like, Everybody else are climbing their ladders, trying to get to the top, trying to do entrepreneurship, trying to grind. Men will admit that it's hard to do and it's not easy, mm -hmm. but not also admit that the emotions that they that come with that sometimes not does not make them the most pleasant to want to be around or be around. Mm. It comes with a lot of complaints. But I think that for us women, we allow y'all to be in that space. We a lot. We we don't. We understand and see like when something's hard. Because when something's hard of us, you guys might call it complaint. We might call it vent. We're used to venting when something's wrong with us. So when there's something wrong with you, I feel like we are okay with that because we understand that. That's that's something we understand logically. Like this is not working for me, and I need to let this. I need to say this. As long as you're not like doing it to me, but if you're doing it and you're just like you talk to me, venting to me, we're okay with that. But when we're doing it, we're complaining. Mm. We're not satisfied. You get what I'm trying to say? So, for example, when your money's funny, like not saying just in general, no, fine, yeah, like or you're going through jobs and you keep complaining about money or bring this up, but if I am complaining about money. What I don't have, what I need, you're complaining. You're never satisfied. I I I feel like we like women deal. We we're, we're both dealing with the same things. Like like I feel like everything you said. I feel like well, damn, I dealt with that from you too. Like you know, what I'm trying to say like, and that's why I be trying to like. I I, I understand why people are getting so tired of the man versus woman thing, simply because it's either a side thinks they're perfect or something. Mm. Because at that point, what you think, like, what you think, you perfect or something? Not you, but in general, no, it's I like, it, yeah. from both sides, it's like, who, well, who you? Like, mm. you think you perfect or something? You think you the easiest to deal with all the time? And I think until we come to a conclusion that, bro, each side, there's seasons that somebody is unpleasant to deal with. Mm. Each time. Whether it's in my season of, I don't know, sitting down, your season of being down. We are always in a season of not being the most pleasant to be with. And then you brought you brought up like the Bible and saying like everything that is in the Bible, women don't do. That was crazy, by the way. It was a joke. That whatever. was crazy. <laughs> I, you know, I want to go but back I mean, there. No, 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 no. I'm all crazy. But as if a man isn't a part of every situation, situation. with the apple, God gave Adam the word. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? Um, with Grumble, actually, when God was talking to the saints, he was talking to a whole bunch of men. They were grumbling. Mm. I don't think it's a woman thing that just complain. People complain. People grumble. That's why it's a characteristic trait to take on complaint and take on grumble and why it makes you miserable and it takes you down. That's a people thing. I just think that Men look at women venting as complaining. When we are upset with something, like you said, you take it on as I got to solve or fix something. We've already had this discussion. 
that's not even a lot of times what we're saying. We mm. just want to vent. But because your mind is wired, I don't want to hear this. What can I do? It's not how can I be compassionate to you in this situation? How can I empathize with you in this situation? It's more so, all right, let me fix this because I don't I, I don't want her complaining about this. And I feel like it's a difference. You know what I mean? So, but if you guys are complaining, like I said, we understand that you guys are venting. Now, of course, again, it's not enjoyable. My, my point is, is just that when, like, for example, just taking it back to the clip, when he's like, you, ne I'm not even going to say, well, let's take out all the words he said and just let's focus on his point. Mm -hmm. His point was the complaining to a man who's going out and working super hard and all he want is peace. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just don't complain. He going to work. Just be his peace. I'm sorry. These, this is for my click plate or however you want to talk about it. A nigga will ask for peace. But be bringing all the motherfucking headaches. Be my peace. Don't complain. But yet he's messy. He's inconsiderate. He he doesn't answer any questions that she got for him. He's just like, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. So he's not, what do you say, uh, reading the room about what's going on with you. He doesn't ask how your day was. He doesn't tell you you're pretty. He doesn't ask if you ate today. But then be like, be my peace though. Just don't complain. But I can't be like, you ain't tell me, you you know, you don't even really tell me you you pretty like that. You, I'm pretty like that, bro. You always complaining. But, you hold on. You um, damn. I would like if you uh, you know, tell me uh, ask me if I ate today. I ask you if you ate, uh, bro. I'm at work. I'm bringing the money home. Um, hey, can you just stop leaving? Um, I'm just chewing out things. This does happen in our house, but it's just easy for me to find. Can you stop leaving all your shoes by the door? You know, I'm tripping when I'm coming. Like, Bro, like, you see me trying to work. You complaining. You keep nagging me. <laughs> Be my peace. And, and last point, you also said that you feel like when you are saying these things nicely, that it's still met with resistance. My point, again, I feel the same thing. I feel like we both deal with that because I feel like there's times when strategy says, Bro, just, it's not, it hasn't, you've said it before. He keeps saying it's like it's a complaint because we're used to being called complaint. We know that. He's saying it's a complaint. You said a complaint. You said nationwide. Everybody knows that women complain, right? So that means y'all are always saying we complain, right? Studies show that men are always going to say that you complain. So just try to say it another way so you could try to get your point. This is something I know I've strategized and done on purpose. Hey, I just want to bring this up. Da, da, da. Bro, you complaining. We dealing with that too. We dealing with it too. <sighs> So what's the solution? Because if at the end of the day, if both parties are, I, I feel like that's why I, I just, I really want, I all I keep, the words just like, who you keep coming to my head. And the reason why is because like for both sides, who you like, why does each side feel like one matters more than the other? Because honestly, equally, Women also are saying we don't feel heard, but men like we don't feel heard. So who the one caves? Because if men feel like I'm not heard, so every time you speak, I'm not going to listen to you. And then women feel like I'm not heard, so every time you speak, I'm not going to listen to you. So nobody's listening. Nobody's listening. So at the end of the day, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just feel like I, I think my problem that I have with it is Whenever one side speaks, the other side says no, me. But if one side speaks and like I understand that, but me too, I can understand that. But when I think I have a problem with like, and I'm I can speak for women, women, when women speak, and this is even in regards to the clip, you mm -hmm. know that we were talking about. Hopefully, we could find it. But when women speaks and say these are my experiences, men say you're, you know, no, you're complaining, no, 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 this, that, and the third. But instead of saying like I think you did say like. Now, I could see that, but I'm going through this, too. I could respect that. But when somebody denies somebody of their experience, I cannot accept, accept that. And I feel like more men do that than empathize and compassion with it and also put themselves in their shoes and then say, you know what? I definitely understand that. You know what I'm saying? Here's some of the shoes that I'm walking in because now we can have a conversation. But that's not happening. I feel like whenever and, and, and in fairness, women do it, too. A man will speak on. 
da 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 and say all his he's walking in and women be like yeah but i carry the baby and i carry it's both sides and i um i think i'm personally i'm gonna be honest like i'm fed i'm fed the f up with the comparison because the only thing i can say is i'm i'm at a point that i know how much i go through so i only can emphasize with somebody else if you're going through not the same thing, but the same weight of what I'm dealing with. You get what I'm trying to say? It's like, I want somebody to empathize. I want to be empathized with so bad that I have to empathize with you. Because if you're saying what you're going through is carrying the weight that I feel like, well, damn. I'm sorry for you too then. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, when does that point come to a, a actual merge? <laughs> 